There was an interview a while back with a, uh, a child predator named Jack Reynolds, and he was asked specifically how he targeted kids. And even more specifically, he was asked what characteristics he looked for in a child. He surprised the journalist because he said more than the characteristics of the child, he looked at the family. And if there was a strong father who posed a threat, he stayed away. So for those of us who are fathers, this tells us at least three things. One is you'd better be a threat. And there's multiple reasons for that fact. You'll even some people say, well, that's not necessary. After all, we have the police, we have the military, that's their job, isn't it? And the answer is yes, it is their job. And it doesn't matter. Because I will tell you right now that if you're ever in a position where your child needs you and you're not able to protect them, not because you lack the opportunity, but because you lack the capability or the capacity, it's not gonna matter who else should have done the job. Because after all, it was yours. You're the father. So what does capacity mean? Capacity is actually being mentally prepared enough to use violence when it's necessary. I once had a young man approach me and he wanted to talk to me about joining the military. and He wanted to join special forces and he was coming to me because I had served in special forces and I had done combat tours. And we talked a little bit about the unit, what its purpose was, what it did, whether or not it was a good fit. But one of the questions that I asked him was, have you ever been punched in the face? Now the question wasn't meant to be funny or arbitrary. It was there to determine whether or not he had ever found himself in a situation where he had been hit and what did he do when he found himself in that situation? Because that's the part that always tests you. The ability to physically defend that which you love starts with mastering the ability to choose fight over flight. It is first and foremost a psychological decision to choose the safety of someone else over your own. And the recognition that not all disagreements are gonna be solved through peaceful debate or civil discourse. Now capability is more obvious. Can you fight? And I'm not suggesting you have to be the personification of whatever professional fighter or warrior you might have in mind, but you better be able to do something. Not because it's likely that you're ever gonna to have to use it, but because if you can, in the moment where someone you care about needs you, you will never forgive yourself, and maybe you shouldn't. Now the second point to this is you better be present. Because having the capacity and the capability to do what you need doesn't mean a great deal if you aren't around when you're needed. Predators know that you're a threat, not just because of your capability, but because of your proximity. And there's a lot of reasons why your kids need you to be there for them. And your kids also need to know you're a threat, not to them, but on their behalf. For your daughters, I will tell you right now, your little girl starts off her life depending on you to keep the monsters underneath her bed and inside her closet, cowering with the knowledge that you'll protect her. And as she grows older, and I don't care what she says, she wants the boy she likes to be intimidated by you. And it's not intimidation out of cruelty or being a bully. It's a question of vetting. Because if you do your job correctly, your daughter will look for in him the characteristics that she saw in you. For sons, it's a little bit different, but it's every bit as important because every boy wants to be able to tell their friend that their dad can beat up their dad. And I know that's true because I experienced it. I grew up in a divorced household. I got to see my dad during the summers, but I will tell you what, every kid growing up knew that my father was LAPD and I couldn't be more proud of him because he was a strong man that was willing to protect. Because ultimately, your son depends on you to prepare them for the place they're going to assume one day for their own family. And if they are confident in your ability to do what needs to be done in that moment, then they'll also be confident in your ability to teach them to do the same thing for their own children one day. Now, there's one more point here. And this is the part where it gets a little bit socially uncomfortable, I guess. There's been an ongoing debate about this concept of toxic masculinity. And look, an honest person can look at the various traits associated with masculinity. Among those are the capacity and capability for violence. And they can freely admit that they can be used for good or they can be used for ill. But I don't know if you've picked up on this yet. Many of the same people who seem determined to justify the exposure of other people's children to sexual concepts and themes are the same people that seem equally determined to misrepresent the capacity and capability for violence as toxic traits. And you gotta wonder yourself, why would it be that the people that wanna have these sorts of conversations with children also wants to convince a generation of men that their ability to step in and physically defend their children is something to be ashamed of rather than something to properly develop? So I'll remind you of how this entire conversation began. It began with the discussion of how a child predator admitted that the greatest thing he feared was a strong father that could protect their children from a man like him. So if you are the sort of man 
who is so afraid of hurting the feelings of someone who believes it's their place to talk to other people's children about things that it is not their place to do, then you're probably not the father this predator was talking about. Now I'll end with this. I've never liked the idea of calling these things predators. If anything, they're scavengers. The scavenger doesn't attack the strong. The scavenger attacks the weak and the isolated. And your job as a father is to make sure that your child never fits that description.